गुड मॉर्निंग टुडे इज थर्सडे सेप्टेम्बर फिफ्टींथ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू एंड इट्स अबाउट सेवन फिफ्टीन ए एम एंड आई एम आउट अगैन द वेदर इज़ स्लाइटली कोल्ड टुडे एट दिस टाइम इट इज इन हाई फिफ्टीज एंड विल प्रोबेबली वार्म अप टू लो सिक्सटीज नवर द लेस लास्ट नाइट वेन वी came back from bay of fundi i went to meet one of our family friends here in halifax and i had an amazing time with them and i came back to my um, airbnb around 11:30 i was uh, quite tired to end my yesterday's video my day was amazing as you may have seen in uh, last video uh, being at bay of fundi seeing the natural phenomenon of highest tidal range in the world walking on the sea bed it's an experience in itself and i certainly did not have such an experience uh, prior to this in my life one thing i would like to mention about my tour guide uh, jonathan he is an amazing person when i called him on uh, tuesday afternoon uh he accommodated me at last minute for the tour of uh, bay of fundi otherwise there was no way i could have gone there because the only tours available were for friday september 16th that's tomorrow and tomorrow i'm going to uh charlotte town so i would have missed it uh so i'm i'm really thankful for him to uh you know help me there and take me with him to the uh bay of fundi secondly when i asked him that i want to visit uh peggy's cove uh, once more so he uh, accommodated me there as well and the tour which he is doing today uh, he has uh, reserved a seat for me so that's uh, that's quite nice uh, of him to do that and and not just that right uh, we had like great conversation uh, we had an indian uh, a uh, couple with us or i should say i was with an indian couple in the tour and we you know four of us had some great uh, some great conversation uh, about our experiences about you know about life and uh, what we uh, you know what changes we have uh, seen you know coming to uh, north america relatively speaking so uh, it was a day well spent our tour it lasted maybe 10 hours or so so it it was a great time and i am looking forward to another good time today all right i came to the end of the road to uh, have a look at citadel and you can see citadel from where i am located and the two flag masts citadel is frankly an interesting place it's like a garrison slash fort which was uh, used by british to protect the city against uh, foreign invasion and what i find interesting about uh, this garrison is it's in the middle of the city uh, it's not on the outskirts right so i find that uh, uh, an interesting feature of this uh, place uh, unfortunately i don't have enough time to go back there once more and explore it from inside but that i would leave for the next time even though i have visited citadel uh, once which you saw in one of my earlier videos but i want to go and spend some time there look at various exhibition uh, read more about them but that has to wait until i come back to halifax uh, next time
now that i have given you quote unquote walking tour of the lunenburg waterfront district you can understand why this has been designated as a historic site in canada or unesco heritage site all the buildings i saw or you know passed by i did not see similarities most of the houses are painted differently they look different some of them are over 100 years old and i'm pretty sure as i go further up or you know if someone drives further up there must be uh, some more good locations to explore and some nice architecture to see I just got here at the casino, uh, Casino Nova Scotia, and I didn't find it uh, appealing. It's a small casino, which I think is uh, expected, uh, given that Halifax is not a very big, you know, city. There is a buffet inside, but I did not uh, see too many good reviews, and I think it's twenty-five dollars plus tax and uh, the pictures i got to see on the internet most of the things are non vegetarian for me it's not worth it i am on the boardwalk now and in front of me is the building of scotia bank also known as the bank of nova scotia just a small personal story uh, when i migrated to canada uh, scotia bank was my first and only employer and uh, i did find out 
about company's history that it was founded in um, Halifax, Nova Scotia. So I always uh, wanted to come here um, and see, you know, Scotia Bank for myself. As I was walking around on the waterfront, I came across this uh, Spanish restaurant. So I decided to have uh, dinner here. Uh, it's a Spanish spaghetti. I have never had uh, Spanish food before. So I would certainly uh, like to see how it tastes. Once I finish my dinner, I will walk back to my Airbnb and do some packing because I'm leaving tomorrow at noon to Charlotte Town. My day today uh, was good, uh, going to Lunenburg and Mahona Bay. But it's my personal opinion that if I have to do it again, I probably would not. I did not find anything too appealing. <laughs> except for the fact that Lunenburg is a historic site and a UNESCO heritage site. Uh, at Mahona Bay, we did not uh, explore too much because uh, we started our tour late and one of the members in our tour group, she had to uh, leave for Moncton, New Brunswick and that's why we had to be back in Halifax uh, around 6 o'clock and that's why we did not spend uh, any time whatsoever in uh, uh, Mahona Bay but usually they give like 30 minutes and uh, people have enough time to explore and uh, take some pictures and things like that on that note I would like to call it a night I hope you like uh, today's video and please do like share subscribe and comment and I will join you tomorrow morning. Have a good night. Thank you and be safe. God bless you.